All right guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we are looking at a brand new headphone from Sennheiser. This is an upgrade to a classic and something that's trying to compete with one of their really expensive models. Today we are looking at the Sennheiser HD 599. All right, so simply just by looking at the box, if you were familiar with Sennheiser at all, you would initially think this is the HD 598s. Well, there are definitely some differences in the two. Um, I will share a little bit of that and then give my opinion on these headphones. But first, let's start with the accessories. Accessories, pretty simple. It does not come with a carrying case because Sennheiser, I think, treats these more as a headphone that you would want to use in a home environment, a home theater environment, or even just sitting at your PC. Although I will tell you, these are great for on the go use as well, and a case would have been nice. We're gonna start with the very, very long cable. Now, Sennheiser, again, they're known for this. Um, on the end that goes into the headphones itself, it is a very small, I think one and a half millimeter, maybe two and a half millimeter. It's a twist and lock system. So that keeps it where once you put it in and you twist it, you can pull on it and it's not going to come out. Okay, so on one end you have the plug so that you can use it in the home systems or if you're in a studio environment, the plugs that have the bigger plugs, but they do give you the adapter to push it in to give you the three and a half millimeter plug so that you can use it on mobile devices or other devices if you want the long cable. But if you don't, they also include a very small cable. Now this is more if you want to use it on your phone or your tablet and you just don't want so many feet of cable just hanging around. Uh, but again, this does have the twist and lock system. It is proprietary, so if you do lose these or break these, you'd have to go through Sennheiser to find a replacement. All right, so now on to the headphones themselves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now the differences between this and the 598 as far as the look is you don't have this really thick, bulky padding at the top. This is very similar to what they did in the 598 CS, the closed back version. And I do want to say like price difference wise, this is what we're looking at. And these are the three I'm gonna compare it to. These retail for $250. The 598, the special edition, it kind of goes around 150 so you're looking at a hundred dollar difference between these now the bump up to the 600s normally retail for 400 dollars. you can usually find them for about 300 dollars, but their impedance level is at 300 so it really takes an amp to be able to power those now with the 599s the impedance level on these are only 50 so you will have no problem running these from your cell phone or your tablet uh, plugging them straight into my PlayStation 4 controller, it worked perfect. So these are not hard to drive at all. Now comfort wise, these things are about as light as it gets. Uh, the Velour ear pads are really soft and these are some of the biggest openings you'll see in headphones. So really, no matter what size ears you have, they're going to go inside of the headphones. And that's great, especially for a pair of open backs. You don't want any part of your ear to be covered. You want the full open experience. Now again, with these being open back, you see this whole mesh design here. This is completely open, so your sound is going to leak to where anybody around you is going to be able to hear it, but you'll be able to hear people around you as well. Now the purpose of that is to give you this really spacious sound, which we'll get into when we're talking about sound. So your left and right simply marked on the inside. The sliders on these are plastic. Everything's plastic. Again, this is just a very lightweight headphone. You have leather at the top, a little bit of branding here with Sennheiser, and then Sennheiser's logo right here on the side as well. On the bottom, you have the part where you plug in your headphone cable. Now we're going to talk about looks because it's only available in this color. And I really like the improvement they did by giving this tan or really dark brown leather to go with this very light light color headphone I actually like the look of these a lot now in the 598 you have like a wood grain around here this time they went with just simple chrome metalish type finish to go around it it just gives it more of a classy look so we have to talk like durability you see these guys can bend and twist and all that so the plastic build definitely it makes you feel good about it seeing how what you can do with these all right so the most important part, if you are going to spend $250, is it worth the upgrade from the 598s? Is it worth looking at these instead of spending a lot more money and going with the 600s? I think Sennheiser found the sweet spot 
between both of those models to be able to create these. Now, what I'm saying by that is the 598s had really good low end, but kind of to me for an open back headphone lacked in high ends. The trebles and the mids were a little pulled back and the bass was there. It had more of a warmer sound signature for an open back headphone. Now the 600s, the really expensive model have extremely crystal clear highs and mids but lacks in the bass. Now, of course, amps and all are required to be able to push that one. So that one's really for a different person altogether. These are like the consumer audiophile headphones. And now what I mean by that is they took the highs of the 600s and pushed them into here, but they took the low end from the 598s and put it in here. So these have more highs than the 598s, but it has more bass than the 600s. So I think it's the perfect balance between the two. Now sound separation is absolutely incredible in these because again, they're open back. When you're listening to anything, you can pinpoint. Now that's why the beauty of these with PlayStation 4 was amazing. Listening to this with Resident Evil scared the living crap out of me because you can hear every tiny thing. You're constantly looking around because of the spatial awareness that these give you. All right, so the best way to explain these as far as bass goes is it's not going to rattle your head. You can't expect that from an open back headphone but these do have plenty of punch to them. That is what surprised me because I was not expecting that out of an open back headphone. The treble in these was extremely clear. I don't wanna say bright because it never felt like ear piercingly bright. It had a very, very smooth overall feel to it. Everything comes through crystal clear. I think this to me is the ideal studio headphone. It's the ideal just sit at home and you wanna pick apart your music and be able to hear every little instrument, every little vocals. This you could use again, like I said, for gaming, absolutely incredible. And I think the look of these are great. So like if you want to use these in public, I think you have that nailed down. You can use them with the PC, sounded incredible. With my phone, forget it. Like most headphone, most open back headphones require so much to be able to push them that you can't use them with mobile devices. That was not an issue with these. These worked at everything that I threw at it. It sounded incredible with hip hop and R&B. Like the vocals that you can hear sounded just beautiful. The metal guitars were really just present. Like the mids pushed that right there forward to you and it never buried vocals and never buried the drums. If you're listening to classical, again, the fact that you could pinpoint where everything is coming from and it doesn't feel like everything is just right here or right, you know, this type of distance from you, that you have this wide range of sound. It's so hard to explain the experience that I got from these headphones. I had so much fun listening to them. Um, I highly recommend them. I know $250 is steep for some people for headphones, but if you are serious about listening to your music and you're serious about wanting a headphone that you can use for everything. Now, obviously this doesn't have a microphone for you to be able to use for calls or to be able to use for PlayStation 4 for gaming. But if you get an external mic, the mic is not an issue. But if you don't use a mic for gaming, it's perfect. The conclusion, they're a definite must buy. I'm putting the link below if you guys are interested. Obviously, if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. I appreciate you guys checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.